Now we move on to a an interesting issue, and this 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 is interesting certainly for British archaeologists. Uh, but I would posit as well, it should be interesting, hopefully, for anyone who's interested in the status of archaeology, because I think internationally, actually, there, there, were, there were very similar conversations happening at the moment. And that is, specifically, uh, what is an archaeologist? And in this instance, as uh, as defined by a certain grade proposed by CIFA, the Chartered, Inst Chartered Institute for Archaeologists. Uh, 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 recently, there was a, a drive towards a vote that has happened already, has it? It has happened. It happened already. last week. It happened last week. A vote uh, on what was going to be called a chartered archaeologist grade, Eff effectively uh, a standard for archaeologists to be able to claim and as connected to, to and as, uh, in that sense as well, adjudicated by, I suppose, as maintained by CIFA. And uh, this is interesting because this touches very much on something that, that we have both had reservations about in the past. That is to say that archaeology and archaeologists is a very broad church, uh, touching, very briefly touching back on what we've just been talking about. Um, and, uh, and in that sense, uh, narrowing the definition of archaeology isn't necessarily great, even though it may be useful for some people who want to, uh, want to wield either power or people who want to be able to easily describe to other professionals what exactly archaeologists do. Uh, in a nutshell, it looks as though CIFA were very much pushing for a yes vote, uh, but actually you shared with me uh, a, a very interesting article, a viewpoint by uh, Shiz Hardwood, Harwood uh, on the uh, badgerfed.co.uk website, uh, describing actually why no was a viable vote as well my actually having a broader slightly messy definition of archaeology is a good thing can you possibly walk us through what what some of the the uh some of the issues in play were yeah um see for the the chartered institute for archaeologists which was previously the institute for archaeologists it um it lobbied successfully and achieved uh, what's called chartered status mm -hmm. um uh, recently um and and that puts it on a par with or, or or could put archaeologists on a par with, for example, surveyors. So you have a chartered surveyor mm -hmm. who is has a, a formally recognised qualification, and that carries with it uh, various legal advantages and, um, and, and and so on. If you're working in a professional environment, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, CIFA have pushed very hard for this over the over the years, um, w with the aim they would say of uh, basically boosting the. Um, the value of the profession, boosting the credibility of the profession alongside other uh, professions within particularly the development industry. So yeah. the architects, the surveyors, the, and, 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 and the project managers and so on. Mm -hmm. um, basically put, putting them on the same rung of the ladder as organisations like that, mm -hmm. as professions like that. Mm -hmm. uh, because of their constitution, they had to go to the membership. It's a membership-driven organisation. And so the management of, of CIFA had to go to the membership to bring in what they called a chartered grade, which is to recognise this particular level of expertise mm -hmm. that CIFA could award people, which would then give them these various advantages. Mm -hmm. um, under, the, under CIFA's constitution... Uh, it needed a qualified majority of 75% of those voting. This is going to sound very like a certain referendum we had in in the nation. But I'm not, I, I'm going to, again, I've got the swear jar ready here by the computer. Yeah. I'm going, trying to avoid the, the B word. Yeah. Um, so it's a qualified majority. And although the leadership backed the grade, mm -hmm. it didn't go through the vote. It no. only achieved just over half of the people voting mm -hmm. and so a majority but a small majority and it was not even a third of the total membership even though they made the uh, made it possible to vote online uh, if you weren't able to attend the AGM last week uh, where the vote was taken mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now 
uh, CIFR issued a statement, uh, and I'll just read it very quickly. Um, at the extraordinary general meeting in, held in Leeds on Friday, the 26th of April 2019, accredited members of the Chartered Institute for Archaeologists voted not to petition the Privy Council to introduce a new Chartered Archaeologist grade of uh, uh, accredited member. The motion required the support of 75% of those voting and achieved the support of 55%. Although the result was not enough to pass the resolution, we are encouraged that 29% of eligible members voted and that the majority voted yes. We are also encouraged that the online voting system has been successful at providing more members the opportunity to influence the result, commented Stephen Carter, CIFA Honorary Chair. And this is the final um, uh, uh, bullet point. The CIFA board will now analyse the vote data, including comments for and against, and will discuss at the next board meeting in May and will report back to members in due course. Now, actually, if you read between the lines there, that is the CIFA board saying, basically, we had ours handed to us by the membership. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about it, they only got a turnout of 29% when they made it easier for people to vote. And even then, they couldn't get a big enough majority to get through something that they've been angling for and has been one of their raison d'etre for years. Yeah. Well, and, now, and, and there was also the logical extension of, of seeking chartered status. In so precisely. For, for, for a, a, a good while now, we've both been, as I've alluded to, we've both been concerned that the definition of an archaeologist was becoming narrower and narrower to the point at which, really, uh, most people who I know who are archaeologists could not claim to be archaeologists. <laughs> Well, certainly not charted in this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and 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 if you look at the social media around this, uh, yeah, part of it is about uh, quality standards, ethics, and accountability. Mm -hmm. And I don't think anybody can uh, argue that, in many respects, those are not good things. However, uh, I think one of the, the issues is there there appears to be developing a something of a disconnect between the members of CIFA to whom this would be probably a significant professional advantage and that's primarily people who are working in development archaeology and particularly those at se in senior positions in development archaeology mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the broader membership uh, there's been some, for example, there, there was some social media comments along the lines of, why are we bothering putting all the time and effort and money into this as an organisation when working conditions for ordinary diggers are so still so appalling and the, uh, uh, and, the uh, and, and the contracts uh, are still so insecure and so on and so on and so on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that, in other words, that this is the big boys looking after themselves. Mm, yeah. Um, well, and actually, and as as the uh, the blog post here that I, uh, I pointed to earlier uh, says quite rightly, and I'll sort of just read the chunk here again. This is uh, linked below. Chartered archaeologist um, is a scheme that shows that CIFA believes that the problems of archaeology are ones that can be solved by how others see us, not how we see and treat each other. Whilst external consideration of archaeology is obviously a massive factor in archaeology, as part of the planning process, for example, it seems to me, the author, that it is archaeologists that have the greatest role in how our profession develops and have, a, have had a significant role in holding the profession back. Yeah. Not least, and this, this, is not, this is my addition to that, not least, for example, in conversations about actually this nature of professionalism and whether or not, you know, there are archaeologists out there who believe that, that all archaeology should not, you know, so should remain somehow quasi-amateur, um, uh, but that, that's, a, that's a, a whole other kettle of fish. Mm -hmm. uh, going back to the article here, um, there is no magic money tree for CIFA. Even if every practicing archaeologist were to join, the numbers would not create the economy of scale to allow it to do everything it wants to do. Uh, the more members join, the more money is needed. Chartered Archaeologist is a scheme that will focus a lot of resources on a small number of members, those that in many ways need the attention the least, as you were just, just alluding to. Whilst the Charter for uh, was for all members, Chartered Archaeologists is for the few. So Charter as in the 
the institute becoming chartered was for all members. Chartered archaeologist status is for the few, not least because there are no, no there are not the resources to make it for the many. So yeah, and also as well, I mean, as you uh, so you 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 quite uh, quite pithily summarised when you messaged me about this uh, this vote going through. Um, yay, we get to be archaeologists still. <laughs> Yeah. And, and 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 that's I think that that's important that uh, the 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 that the, there is an acknowledgement here that yes we I mean in that sense I, I'm definitely an, an advocate for better paying conditions for Absolutely. an increasing mm -hmm. sense of of you know inter um, inter uh, intersector respect as it were between say builders surveyors lawyers and you know other people involved in the building trade and the archaeologists at the beginning of that process often on on site. But uh, but yeah, we have to we have to be moving forward together. We can't be hiving off exactly what what an archaeologist is. Absolutely. I mean, t t summing up my my, my view really, uh, as I said at the beginning, nobody who aspires to call themselves an archaeologist um, should accept lower standards than are broadly acceptable to. Le legally and ethically, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you shouldn't just you shouldn't just be allowed to go and dig a hole because you want to. No, but that's not the responsibility of CIFA. That's the responsibility of the regulators, like mm -hmm. Historic England and, and and the local authorities and so on, who have actually control over the the ground where archaeology is done. Mm. Um, you know, CIFA, it, CIFA's responsibility maybe is is to lay down uh, ways of doing. An ethical framework, and I have no problem with that. And in fact, I would I would have no problem in holding to CIFA guidelines. In fact, I've checked and worked to CIFA guidelines in the past, although I'm not a member of CIFA. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I think some of the issues, for example, around development archaeology, actually aren't archaeological issues at all. No, no. Um, you know, everybody on an, on a, who works on a building site, archaeologist, bricky, plumber, plasterer site manager has to carry the same card that shows they've undergone safety training and so on mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know that's not archaeological training that's training to work in the building industry yeah yeah and the management you know a, a lot of the management practices and so on and health and safety practices again if you look at health and safety executives guidance for for trenching and so on which archaeologists follow those are gen broadly speaking generic guidelines for for industry nothing specifically archaeological about it at all no and, well, and, and actually and the, the, the final <clears> point, <throat> Mark, this is mm -hmm. important. Yeah. I, 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 um, I think at our peril we lose the connection with community we lose the connection with storytelling we lose the connection with sharing and communicating and entertainment um, because in the end and, I, and, I'm, and I'm quoting uh, paraphrasing a, a colleague who works in uh, in the in dance actually, um, but you have to say that in the end, it's we're not like architects, we're not like doctors, you know. If we make a mistake, nobody. If we make a mistake with a strat, nobody dies. Mm. It's you know, I'm afraid in the end, it's only archaeology. Nobody dies, and I think. Well, but, but but also, I mean, you're right. You are right. But also, in that sense, they do die when the same safety provisions that are provided by, as you say, general building sites standards aren't adhered to. So I do know of someone, for example, who has fallen into a trench and and, and perished, unfortunately. Um, but that's because the, the the safety aspects weren't on board, so it's, it's not it, or weren't being looked after properly on site. That's not our. And and and, 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 I, and I'm not saying that, that, and I'm not yeah. saying that that's acceptable. Of course, it's not no, no, anybody no. going into. And it's what I was saying. You know, uh, when I project manage things, it, it has been to see for guidelines and to health and safety executive guidelines mm -hmm. and so on. Because you'd be mad if you didn't. Yes, absolutely. It's the under it's the underlying ethos that is the issue here. I think and yeah. archaeology isn't architecture isn't quantity surveying i think it's better than that it is it is better but also i, I, I suppose just just to just to add add to that point if, if i may um when you turn up on site the gaffer 
who's going to be checking that you're okay to be on site, not just that you're wearing steel toe cap boots, but that you know what you're doing. You're not going to get you put other people in danger as much as yourself. They need something that is cross-referenceable with everything else. And having yet another tiny little uh, rarefied pair of letters after your name means that then you have to explain what that CA standard means eventually. So if you have CA, then, okay, well, CA means this. Well, whereas actually what, what it should be doing is C for membership should be being encouraged to plug into the standards and practices that already exist in order to, to, to be on side very easily when it comes to, especially if you want to work on a building site, then that, you know, that, that kind of stuff, yeah. as you say, should be common sense. And I, and I think actually the um, there was a slide that was shown at CIFA uh, last week, which um, uh, has been posted uh, and, re and retweeted on social media, and and it, it is basically what makes what makes an archaeologist, mm -hmm. and it's a word cloud, and if you look at it, um, yeah, uh, it, it's got things like long term goals and 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 and, and so on, but it talks and it talks about team player, yeah, it's all touchy feely. Diplomacy, you know, management skills, yeah. But it also talks about creativity. It talks about storytelling. It talks about shares with everyone. That's mm. not that doesn't happen in the commercial world. No. Uh, generous collaborator, mm. you know, curiosity. It's not them and us. It's just us. That's the mm. one that leapt out at me in the connection with this argument. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know. So and and also self reflexivity, uh, reflexivity, and I think. This defeat, actually, for CFA's management, and they'll, they'll probably come back with another proposal, uh, because as I say, this is a long-term goal of the current CFA management to, to achieve this status mm -hmm. and get it passed by the Privy Council so that it can become effective. Mm -hmm. um, but it, this is an opportunity for self-reflexivity uh, about archaeology, and I think they will be doing themselves and CFA a disservice if they don't listen to the people who were outside of that argument or were on the no side. No, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. As much as it may be tempting to become the arbiter of what archaeology is, archaeology yes. is not easily bottleable. No. No, absolutely. No.